Whatever you're with. Imagine you're a young girl and you've just graduated from college, you're about to start your career, and one day you find out that you're pregnant. Your family, you know your family won't accept you and your religion forbids that you can get pregnant before you're married. You don't know what to do and your options are, are limited. Hello, my name is Kyra Mitchell and my topic is should abortion be illegal in America? And my thesis is even though, even though it's a female's choice whether or not she can have a baby or not, should an abortion also be a choice for her or for her government? Abortion rates in America are at an all-time high. 85% of the women who have abortions in America are usually unmarried. 50% of the women who have abortions are younger than 25. Teen rate, although the teen rate is not the highest rate in America, it, is, it has the highest ratio of 700 out of 1,000 teens under the age of 15 who have abortions. Now that we know who have now that we know who has abortions, let's talk about one case that is famously known as Roe v. Wade. Roe was a woman, a single woman, who filed a lawsuit against a Texas state because the Texas law prohibited her from having an abortion. She ended up winning her lawsuit because the Supreme Court ruled in her favor saying that the Texas law was outdated and that it infringed the 9th and the 14th Amendment. The law was later then changed, and the abortion law was also made to change. The two amendments were also made to change so that abortion were legal. Now, according to WomenCensor.com, 20% of women who have abortions were younger than the age of 19, and 60% 60, 60 of women were also below the government poverty line. Most women say they have abortions for three main reasons. One, because either they're not ready to become mothers and they either they don't want a family or they're just not ready. Two, they aren't financially stable to have a family by themselves or their family won't support them. And three, their religion prohibits them from either having a baby before they're married or being a single mother and having a child by herself. Now, in conclusion, women, were able, women should be able to have abortions because although some people view it as a choice and it's as kill, killing a fetus, at the end of the day, it's between the women and her doctors who should have the right to choose because, because many, many factors go into having a, ch a child such as being financially stable, having a support team behind you, and also just wanting a baby in general. And not every woman, not every woman has that, has those factors behind her, and not every woman wants a baby. My name is Carmen Mitchell, and that is it.